Service level objectives, or SLOs, are the primary way by which we set appropriate reliability targets for our services. The latest release of SLO monitoring in Google Cloud Operations makes doing this especially easy for services running on GKE. I'm here today to give you a walkthrough and show you how to get started. This is the Stack Doctor. We looked at how to use the API to define service level indicators, or SLIs, and set SLOs in an earlier episode. But now, you can do both of those in the UI. Let's take a look. Start by going to the Services screen under Monitoring. If you're using the Istio Service Mesh in your cluster, you'll notice that your services have already been automatically identified for you. You can filter the list as necessary. For example, you may want to only see services running in a particular cluster or in a particular region. To filter for services that match a particular label value, just type the value of the label you want into the filter field. If you're not using Istio, you can define a new service by selecting a GKE entity you'd like to use as the base for the service. This won't make any modifications to the entity itself. It'll just create a new monitoring construct you can use to create SLOs. Once you've found the service you're looking for, or created a new one, click on it in the list. On the Service Details screen, you can see the SLOs you've already defined for it, if there are any, any alerts for the time span selected, and the logs for the service. From here, click Create SLO. In order to create an SLO, you first have to choose the SLI, or the service level indicator you'd like to use as the measure of service reliability. Here, you have three options, availability, performance, or other. But what does each one of those mean? An availability SLI will measure the ratio of successful requests to all requests to the service. For this service, Istio automatically tracks that metric, and no additional instrumentation is necessary. A performance SLI will measure the ratio of requests that complete within a specific time to all requests. Because Istio automatically tracks latency for each request, this is another out-of-the-box metric. If you want to use a custom metric as your SLI, select Other at this point. For example, you may have instrumented the service using OpenTelemetry to count the number of transactions that meet specific criteria. And using a custom SLI will let you select that metric. The next choice is between a request-based and a window-based SLI. We covered this in our earlier episode on using the API to create SLOs, but it's worth reviewing it briefly. Request-based SLIs measure the fraction of good units of work against the total. Now, for example, what percentage of requests to your service were successful in a given time window? An example of a request-based availability SLO is 99% of requests are successful over a rolling seven-day window. This is the more straightforward and commonly used option. Window-based SLIs measure the fraction of time intervals during which the service meets some threshold over a given time window. An example of a window-based availability SLO is 99% of requests are successful within 99% of 10-minute intervals over a rolling seven-day window. Once you've selected your SLI and evaluation type, click Next. Take a look at the signal you've chosen and confirm that the metric behaves as you would expect. Uh, for example, if the service has been healthy for the last hour, the metric should show a mostly flat trend. Once you're satisfied with the signal, click Next. You may recall that an SLO is the combination of three things. The SLI, which we've already chosen, a target, and a compliance period. On this screen, you need to provide the compliance period, which is the length of the time window over which the SLI is going to be evaluated. Next, specify your goal. This is the target for the SLI. Now, your SLO definition is complete. Click Next to finalize it. And this is the last step. Give your SLO a name that reflects what it's measuring and click Submit. That'll take you back to the Service Details screen with your new SLO added and its health clearly displayed. Thanks for joining me today. We looked at the new SLO monitoring functionality and learned how to use it to define availability and performance SLOs for our services running in GKE. Now you are ready to start configuring SLOs for your own services. Thanks for watching and come back soon for more. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.